What's the motherfucking deal, YouTube? This your brother Zarin. Please comment, like, and subscribe uh, on this video. I thank you guys for supporting the channel. Uh, I thank you guys for always, uh, you know, uh, supporting me. Whatever I do, 2K, you know, do uh, basketball games, you know, uh, sub up to Dante Sports Talk live streams. Um, everybody know we have a live commentary tonight. Houston Rockets versus the Golden State Warriors. A very good game. Like I said, uh, very good. People so appreciate the people who supported me while I was watching uh, NFL for agency. I know some of you uh, guys, some of my loyal uh, subs was at school. But like I say, man, hey, I really appreciate all the love. Appreciate my mods, man. I give you guys all the credit, man, from helping my channels grow. Y'all keep doing what you do. Keep doing Keep working, man. Like I say, I really appreciate that. Uh, last night, uh, y'all go look at my Odell Beckham video and my thoughts on uh Odell Beckham getting traded to the Browns. Uh I just thought uh the Browns could have got more out of the deal. I mean the uh Giants could have got really more up out of that deal. They could at least got another pick or another player for Odell Beckham services. But uh, and, and that said, this is not the uh this is not uh what I was gonna talk about. Uh the dom the biggest domino in free agency had failed last night. Uh it was uh the Jets uh, Le'Veon Bell agreed to a four-year deal worth $52 million, uh, last night to sign with the New York Jets. I think it's a great move by the New York Jets. Like I said, <laughs> like I said, uh, uh, Le'Veon, they get a, uh, running back, uh, like I said, who can, uh, catch the ball out of backfield, who can run between the tackles, uh, who can, uh, power through you, who, who can, uh, uh, is a tough tackler through open space. Uh, Le'Veon Bell, I think, I think, I thought he uh, held out for so long because he thought he was going to get the money that he that he did the, the, uh, the a big time contract. I thought he thought he was going to uh, break the bank. That's why he probably held out so long. I think he forced the teams to get into a bidding war for him. He held off the Jets for a little while to see what could he get for the Ravens from the Ravens in Oakland, and they would not uh, they would not outbid. Uh, you know the New York Jets. And stuff like that. So I guess uh, Le'Veon Bell was really focused on on big money, like I said. So he took what what was the best deal for him, and that was against the New York Jets. Look out for the New York Jets, man. Like I say, they get C.J. Mosley, uh, a great uh, linebacker. Uh, like I say, <clears throat> like I say, who can run sideline from sideline. Who's a good coverage uh, player. Who's a great leader. They also. Uh, they also got some good receivers, Robbie Anderson, who they I think re-signed a three-year deal a few minutes uh earlier. What I just saw, they get Robbie Anderson. He's very very good, a versatile receiver, fast receiver. Uh, can run can run routes, very very good. Uh, they get um. Jamison Crowder, a good slot receiver, someone who can get open. Uh, they got Lexi Anumwa and Le'Veon Bell, the best running back in football. You add to that, that's a lot of help for Sam Donald. Like I said, I think the defense is going to be pretty good next year for the New York Jets. Uh, like I say, but we're not going to, let's not say they're going to beat the, uh, Patriots. I'm never betting against Tom Brady. I'm never betting against the uh, New England Patriots, like I said. Like I said, but uh, hey, it's looking up right for the uh, New York Jets with the quarterback. I really like Sam Donald, man. I think he's got a bright future. I think he had a, a good year last year. Um, I think he had a good year last year, uh, like I said. So, hey, man. Um, hey, man. Like I say, uh, the New York Jets is going to be straight, man. Like I uh, like I said, Le'Veon Bell. I thought he he thought he was gonna get something real, really, really big, a big contract. Uh, it didn't happen to him. He tried to force teams to get into a bidding war. Uh, the, uh, for the, he tried to force them to give him a, get him more, get him more money. But like I say, it's a good deal for like I say for the New York Jets, man. Like I say, uh, four years, fifty two million for Le'Veon Bell. Someone that's definitely gonna improve the running game, an upgrade for any running back that the New York Jets had. Like I say, for Le'Veon Bell, they can catch some people that can catch the ball out of the backfield. Uh, they can uh, run between the tackles. That's very shifty, hard to tackle up, up in the open field. Like I say, he's got. 52 million, 35 million guaranteed. That's very, that's very good. So that was the best deal for him. Now, uh, you're going to start seeing Tevin Coleman come off the market. Uh, Mark Ingram coming off the market. I was surprised if he, <coughs> uh, he goes 
it uh, goes today. You're going to start seeing them guys, uh, Jay Ajayi, CJN. Now you're going to see start seeing the running backs come off the market as well. Now that you know the biggest domino to fall is Le'Veon Bell is uh, going to be with the New York Jets. Now you're going to see Tevin Coleman. And by the way, he's got the same age as Le'Veon Bell. So you know the, his domino is going to be the next one to fall. Uh, you're going to start seeing Mark Ingram. I, uh, it was rumors that he's uh, the Ravens. Uh, Ravens uh won him. So like I say, you're gonna start seeing that Dom. You're gonna start seeing the running backs fall. That now that uh Timmy Coleman knows uh that Le'Veon Bell is going to the uh Jets. You're gonna start seeing him. He's gonna start seeing him fall next. Uh, Timmy Coleman. He does has the same age as Le'Veon Bell does. So you're gonna start seeing Timmy Coleman fall next. So like I say, guys. Um. Great shocking news already for Odell Beckham and, and uh, Cleveland Browns, man. Like I said, uh, man, that was uh, shocking on this offseason so far, man. Real talk, man. I thought the Browns evidently should have got more. I mean, not the Browns. The Giants could have got more to win. They got you cannot no way in world tell me that you could not get more for Odell Beckham. You could not get another player or another draft pick for Odell Beckham services. Now, you mean to tell me, guys, that Roger Maris, the Giants GM, John Mara, John Mara, John Mara, that's his name, was blown away by this deal. Now, no, no knock on Jabril Peppers. He might show up to be great for the New York Giants. We don't know. We don't know. They got two first-round picks, a 6 and a 17. One of them things, one of them pitch should go on a quarterback and a defensive player or a receiver. One of them pitch should go quarterback and the receiver. I think both of the pitch should go, one should go quarterback and a receiver. Unless you trade that number, that uh, first round pick and two, move up to get a quarterback. Unless it's, that's what, get a quarterback and drop Eli Manning's successor. Like I say, but you cannot tell me a first, a third, and Jabril Preppels can blow you away. Can blow you away for Odell Beckham services. That's just crazy. I thought the Giants could have got more if they really wanted to. They could have got more. They could have got another player or another pick. At least for Odell Beckham. And um, those of y'all know, D4 was traded from the Kansas City Chiefs uh, until uh, to the San Francisco 49ers. That is five years, $87 million. Uh, like I say, and the Chiefs will get a 2020 uh, second round pick. Like I say, but Le'Veon Bell... Is the first running back domino pretty not 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 the first running back Latavius Murray was that uh, like I say but the biggest domino to fall was Le'Veon Bell right now uh, four years fifty two million thirty five million guaranteed he's gonna help out the Jets a lot this year he's gonna be a very great um, running back this year he's the best running back in all of pro football to me man very versatile he's gonna help them he, when he's not running the ball well he's gonna be out of the backfield catching passes or somewhere in the slot. Uh, like I said, he's a great blocker. Uh, he's a great runner between the tackles. He's hard to stop in the open field. Got a mean stiff arm. So, like I say, now you're going to start seeing Tevin Coleman them come off the board. Uh, like I say, and Jay Ajayi and Mark Ingram. Now that you know, uh, like I say, uh, the Le'Veon Bell. Like, and watch out for Tevin Coleman. Tevin Coleman today, he's going to. Mark Ingram and Tevin, Tevin Coleman might come off the board today. But Tevin Coleman got the same agent as Le'Veon Bell. So, you know, he's close to coming off the board as well. So, like I say, uh, uh, tune into the live stream, live commentary tonight. Rockets and Warriors. Rockets going for the season sweep, going for 10 straight. Like I said, thank you guys. Uh, I'm going to be home in a couple of uh, minutes. I'm uh, getting ready to go, uh, like I say, out for a little bit uh, for a doctor to, to the doctor for a checkup. So thank you guys. Comment, like, and subscribe, my lovely people. Thank you guys. Le'Veon Bell to the Jets. Five years, four years, I mean, $52 million, 35 guaranteed. Thank you, guys. Much love. Mods, you are the GOATs. Let's go, Rockets. GOATs, Mods.